Jalen's here. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, uh, Jalen, you, uh, you're in the locker room three times, before the game, halftime, and after the game. What was the mood before, halftime, and after? I think um, we had the same mindset the whole game. No matter what part of the game it was, we had the same mindset, and the mindset was the win, you know. And I think as a collective whole, we uh, approached it as a challenge going into the game, and it factored into how we approached every situation that took place, whether it was good, bad, or ugly. We all channeled in and figured out that we could win this thing, you know what I'm saying? So our, our mindset was all just to um, be on the same page and be, uh, be successful. Were those first two plays to start the second half scripted, and what may have worked so well there? Uh, I don't think it was, it was just just our uh, point of attack, you know, just uh, just uh, acknowledging the assignment that took place and just executing the best of our ability. Every win's big, but this one, after what you remember from last year, how, how much did you guys like that one? Well, um, I think we we had to acknowledge that um, we're circled on everyone's calendar. You know, no matter who we, who we play, you know, they're gonna give us our best game, and we had to realize that and. Um, you know, have the right mindset approaching the game. And Tennessee is a tough opponent, you know, 100%, 100% by that. And it was a big challenge for us. And, uh, you know, we got we, we were successful today. Jalen, after the game, you went over to the student section and kind of gave us some salute. Yeah. So I know y'all saw Coach Saban. He's talking about how important the fans were today. You know what I'm saying? And the student section is a part of our fan base, you know, and they brought it today. And I will say this, the, stu the, the whole stadium was rocking all day. And our fans really came out today. What was it like going out the field, obviously sharing that moment with Coach Saban post game, but then just walking out the field and, and, and having everybody, you know, cheer for you? Yeah. Um, you know, this, this is the reason you come to play in college, come to college, college football, to play in games like this, um, have opportunities, have moments like this that you remember forever. Um, and, you know, it was a definitely an enjoyable experience. And uh, Coach Saban had my dog. <laughs> How hard is it to win week after week after week like this? And what does it say about your team? Very hard. Very hard. You know, we have to acknowledge that winning is hard, especially playing in this league. The SEC is the hardest, hardest opponents you'll play in the whole country, you know. And we know that, and we know we have to prepare hard and take it one game at a time because it's very critical um, in, in the season to just approach it at just one game at a time. So, so you said whether it was good, bad, or ugly. So which was it? <laughs> Great, we won. <laughs> what was it like watching uh, Nick Saban sprint off the field like that? Boy, he was running, boy. <laughs> I don't know. Since I've been here, i never seen him run like that, boy. He must be happy. <laughs> Is there a reason you showered before coming here? You smell like smoke or anything? Oh, yeah. I don't like being stinky. That's one thing I have. That's my pet peeve. Anybody being stinky, I like taking showers. So I had to make sure I was clean for y'all. <laughs> I was that Huh? I was a cigar. Oh, fun. That was fun. I would say that, you know. Uh, but, yeah, that was great. You know, that was great for us. You mentioned the mindset was always win, but how much of a morale boost was the touchdown to Bond? Like, how much more confidence did that give you guys? Uh, I think, like I said, coming, coming out of halftime, our, our mindset was win, you know. And uh, we trust all the assignments, all the um, corrections that we made at halftime. And, uh, you know, I trusted I'd be on that route, and he uh, did all the work on that play. And I was just, you know, I saw it, and I just took a shot, and he, he made an explosive play for us. Do you feel like y'all kind of showed the world what, what y'all can do when for that last 30 minutes when the offense and defense are playing like that? Did you kind of feel like y'all showed some capabilities that maybe people were starting to wonder? Um, I, think, I think what we showed was that we don't quit. Here, we don't, we don't quit. You know, that's, that's, that's the biggest thing. And what we harp on in the offseason, our offseason off training, our fourth quarter program, um, all of our, you know, our conditioning workouts, everything that we have implemented to our program, we don't quit you know, by any means, you know. And I think that was critical, and we should we show that today. Talk okay. about how it feels um, on offense when you don't start off quite as quick as you want to, knowing you have a defense you can lean on to get the game closer. Yeah, um, the biggest thing for, with all of that is four quarter. We play four quarters of football. We don't, we don't, we don't, you know, we can't linger in a play, a mistake. Uh, one quarter, you have, to, you have to lean on that. You have to play full quarter, you know, full four quarters. And that was our mindset the whole game. And no matter what, you know, uh, personally, I can say I can lean on my brothers. How comfortable are you obviously running the ball? It seemed like there were some spots in the first quarter where you could have went, but you didn't. And then coach said after the game that, yeah, he picked his spots and he saw it and then he went. And it feels like you lowered his shoulder at the end yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, well, my, my job is to be a point guard. And um, do what the assignment called for, whether it's pass, run, 
my job is to be the best leader I can be, best point guard I can be for the team. And if the assignment said throw the ball, the assignment said throw the ball. If it said run, I'm going to run. I'm going to run fast, too. Run over somebody. <laughs> Anything you're looking forward to in the bye week? Huh? Anything looking forward to in the bye week? Shoot, rest. <laughs> <laughs> rest. How big was the defense for y'all in the second half? And how much did y'all as an offense kind of build off what the defense is able to do? Huge. You know, they, they competed very hard. Um, they had they had great teamwork th throughout the the whole game, they played together to play the one heartbeat, and um, our defense played great. You know, I, I think the, the biggest thing with our defense is the hunger that they have and the drive that they have and the mentality that they have. Um, I think that's very key for us to move forward. And I know, I know I can say this, that our defense is playing their tails off, and uh, I'm very proud of um, all that they're doing for us. Two more. Your personal uh, bounce with adversity today, the interception, the fumble. Uh, as one of the leaders on this team, how do you sort of keep yourself locked in and focused and, and playing that next play? Yeah, there's only one per one person that ever walked this earth that was perfect. That's my Lord and Savior. You think I'm going to be perfect? No, not, not by any means. And so the biggest thing I can do is learn from a mistake, learn from what, what I did wrong. And throughout the whole game, um, I had the mindset of now. Mindset of now, how can I attack this rep that I have at the moment? And uh, I made sure of that. And I had great teammates surrounded, surrounded by me. I had a great coaching staff that was uplifting. And uh, I know that I can, I can get through any situation with my Lord and Savior. Thanks, Jalen. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. What's up, man? What up, what up? I'm just trying to get a shot. So how was, how's, how's the cigar? Huh? How's the cigar? It was good. It was good. <laughs> to have that feeling uh, this year after not having it last year, what did it mean to get the win on your home field? Yeah, it meant, it meant a lot. Like you said, uh, not winning last year was something that we've been thinking about since we lost, and we just didn't want that to happen again. And I'm proud of the team for the way we fought and the way we per persevered through this game. You were questionable heading into this one, but with it being your last third Saturday in October, was there anything that was going to keep you out of this one? Nah, nothing, nothing was going to keep me out of this one. I ain't going to lie. What was the mood in the locker room? Did y'all, because a lot on the line in the second half, what was the mood in the locker room and kind of the resolve that y'all came out with? Uh, we just told everybody to just keep fighting and this is what we do. Like, we built for situations like this and uh, if we want to be a good team, we're going to have to fight through adversity. And that's what we did out there today. And we really came together as a team and uh, went out there and played and finished the game for 60 minutes. Did that feel like the first 30 minutes where y'all felt like some of the teams you've been on in the past, but like you're playing kind of national championship caliber? Uh, yeah, I would just I would just say that we really not worried about um, the outcome of a game. We just talked about going out there and play the next play, play the next play, and uh, just do our job. Just do our job and execute the calls and execute uh, everything that we have to do. Was that the best the crowd has been this season? Yeah, yeah, I, I mess with that. I, lo I love how the uh, crowd was rocking today. How big was it for y'all as a defense for the offense to come out and score right away in the second half? It, it just set the tone. It set the tone coming out uh, of halftime. And I think we we um, we filled off that, seeing them go down there and score that quick. And we just went out there and we just said, don't let them score. Don't let them score. That was our mindset, and that's what we did. Malachi, the, the success you guys had on those fourth down run stops, take me through that and what worked there. Um, it was just uh, the play call. We knew they was going to run the ball when it's fourth and short, fourth and short like that. And, you know, it all comes down to execution. And guys went out there and executed. Jahai had a, had a big stop. And uh, that's what we built for. That's why we train. And uh, that's just the goal we have. Do you take it personal when an offense feels like you can get a fourth and one on you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when it's fourth down or something like that, the defense definitely take it personal when they try to get uh, go, go for it on fourth down. And, yeah. This team seems to kind of have a little bit of a flair for the dramatic. You've won several close games in a row now. Why do you think that is that you guys are comfortable in those situations? Uh, I just think it's from the from the how close this team is. This clean this team very close together, and uh, we know how hard we've been working since the summer and everything like that. So that's just our motto: is play the next play, play the next play. Don't worry about the score, and j just keep playing with relentless effort. How bad do you think this team needs this week off? It, it, you know. Bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> it it feels good to, to know we got uh, some rest coming next week. What was your perspective on the Jahad Campbell touchdown on that play? Oh, it was crazy because we was talking about uh, let's go out there and get a stop uh, three and out, but we always talk about let's get the ball, let's go score. And so when it happened, it just it's just what we were talking about. We just went out there and executed. Somebody made that big play. I think it was Braz who had the strip, and Jahad scooped in and scored. Did the defense get a few extra cigars after that second half performance? 